Hello Cheapsters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we're going to have an update on HMS Kent, my 1 in 350 scale uh, Trumpeter Type 23 Royal Navy frigate. Uh, it comes in and out of vogue, <laughs> as most of my model kits do. Uh, I really do enjoy building ships. Uh, okay, I have not really actually built the ship since uh, I was about uh, 15, but I do enjoy building this one. Uh, again, I go off on other tangents from time to time, but uh, I really enjoy uh, ships uh, of all nations, of all of all descriptions. Uh, but I do like building, or I like looking at builds of post-war uh, Royal Navy uh, ships in particular, and. Uh, as I've said to you guys before, back more from say probably that you know the the 1960s uh, up to the present day, um, with a more focus on the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Uh, I had a minor disaster with the build only yesterday. Uh, I, I sent a couple of pictures off to a couple of the tubesters I know on here, uh, just saying, oh look, you know. It was only off the iPad and you know really rough picture, but just saying, look, you know, the superstructure is only placed down, but it's starting to look like a ship, you know. Uh, really enjoying it, and it wasn't until I'd done the photographs, went away, had a brew, come back, and I thought, right, I'll start sticking the superstructure down from the hangar, de the hangar deck, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the superstructure where the helicopters housed anyway. Uh, from the stern, that's the rear of the ship, that's nautical that is, and uh, I'll work my way up. Uh, there's loads to do on it still, but you know, we're getting there. And uh, I put it down, I put put the hanger down, and I realised that from the side I was looking at it, it touched the deck okay. On the other side, it sat up uh, like a, with a four mil, three, four mil gap between the rear of the hanger and the, the far side, because I can't remember which is port and which is starboard, <laughs> but that side. Uh, yeah, it just wouldn't sit down. I've carved bits out of it, and I think what's happened was, because I'd followed what other guys had done, and I used, because Trump to give you a bit of a, a shape to then put your, hold, you know, hold it in place, tabs more or less, I suppose, I don't know. On the aircraft hangar, if you want to display it open, they give you a, it's basic, but it's you know they've done something to it. They give you all the fans and that, that grills that sit on the inside. Obviously, they take all the fumes and stuff out out of it. Um, and you place those on the inside, and whether whether it's it's got to be my fault because I'm not a very good modeler, but they they seem to fit okay. And of course, a couple of months later, I come to stick it down, and they don't fit. And I think it's because these tabs in the shape of the hanger that Trump to provide on the main deck when I've come to put these inserts in whether they could have gone higher I've looked at it I couldn't see how they could have done but I don't know anyway it, it, as my old Mara Charlie Mack would say it is what it is so I've had to bite the bullet uh, I thought I'm going to do some some uh, milli put and put it in snakes and then worms, whatever you want to call it, and, and then roll them in and just fill it, pack it out. It's not going to be great uh, and it's a real shame, but I always said this one was a learning curve because I've learned something. So you'll see some yellow potty. It's only literally been, I've just put the last bit, in fact, I've still got a bit more to go yet. I'm still, but my wife's taking the pop out, Archie, pop, he's 11, but what we call them, the pops. Uh, and they've got a, cl a quiet house for just probably about 40 minutes so I thought get this video done so let's go down and take a look uh, it's great I've only placed all the other bits are just placed in so they're a bit slightly hiddled they're out of place but they probably will be when they're stuck down so hey uh, yeah let's go down and take a look right guys thanks for joining me at the bench this is a really difficult one to to film um, it's quite a big ship I've got it on the tripod with the tripod really lowered down so we'll go with this for now uh, when I start getting more closer to getting the whole ship finished we'll try and get some better videos up right uh, we haven't got an anchor chain on yet uh, Mara of the channel Greg Riley sent me um, a piece of his spare 
So I'm actually going to use, rather than use the, PV, the PVA, that's not the word I was after, the PE version, because well, I've already chiselled the plastic version off, uh, I'm going to use the chain, I just haven't done anything with it yet, but that's going to go, obviously, in here. Uh, we've got our main armament. Uh, I've, it's a brass barrel. Uh, again, I bought that separate from Atlantic Models, highly recommended business, uh, no connection to them. Uh, the, I've made this ladder, well it's a PE ladder, but I've, I've put a PE ladder up and a little framework on the top. Um, I also put a, there's a little discharge chute there for the, uh, for the spare cases, I believe to be, to be ejected from. Can we go any closer Gav? Oh, this is going to be really good, isn't it? Now, again, these are just all plop, plopped down. They're nothing, nothing's glued down in place. So, yeah, that's that's all been made up. It's not great, but I'm just trying my best to spruce up the kit a bit. Uh, I've also put some filler in there to put the blast bag, a bit of canvas around there. We've got the uh, Sea Scepter or Sea Cap Missiles Air Defence. Again, nothing's been weathered yet. This is all going to have, it's, it's fairly sort of mucked up at the moment. We've been handling it, but it's uh, it's got to be wiped off and then, then oiled over and stuff. But uh, we've got the Sea Wolf Missiles. They're just, they're just loosely put down. Uh, these are PE. Uh, which again, I've really got, I know it's my first one, but I've got to try and get the PE better. Because the PE, I just get so much glue over everything. I've got to start super gluing in smaller dabs rather than using cocktail sticks. Uh, there will be a bit more of a gap between here and here. It's just, as I say, these are just sliding all over the place at the moment. Um, but yeah, these deflect the blast away. Um, I've put wire and I've made extra cradles and stuff on these. There we go, I'm moving them already. But yeah, that, that wire shouldn't be going into the centre there. Again, it got glued on and that's where it was stopping. Uh, all the all the life uh, rubber life rafts, in, these are obviously in their cases, and the, the chaff dispensers, uh, these shoot out um, chaff to, to discourage or, uh, enemy missiles. Not to discourage, uh, you know, but to to def uh, get them to home in, uh, rather than on the ship. Uh, they've all got to have this. The, you're supposed to put these stanchions on or piers, whatever you want to call them, supports. And they're obviously all these places have them. We'll see them further down. There. I put one on to see, and that one does roughly fit, but um, you're supposed to put them on beforehand and then plonk the stuff down. But as with the hanger problems, which we'll get to in a minute. If I'd have done that, nothing would have fitted. So I've left them off, and I'm going to have to have the pain of of cutting some sprue or using the originals, whichever fit, and then sticking them in, uh, which I'll be doing over the next few days. Uh, but yeah, that, so they'll all have these like standing supports on. Uh, we can't really see at the moment, but there's I've painted the yellow fire hose, oh yellow red fire hoses. Uh, we've got uh, signalling lamps. We've got more uh, decoy launchers. Uh, I see squid. If they're sea squid, I believe them. I might be wrong. Uh, decoy launchers. Uh, we've got some more fire hoses. Now they're normally being an actual red cradle. They've just moulded them as just a black square, but and a, a red square. Sorry. Oh, they've did, they've moulded them as a square, and Gav's painted them red. <laughs> but they should be like in a basket, really. Um, in the older Type 22s and the, the 42 destroyers and the Type 21s, these fire control radars are normally in the big, uh, the big domes, uh, fiberglass domes. But they've obviously foregone that now, and they just put these walkways around them, obviously for maintenance and stuff. There'll be a, a fair few health and safety yellow stickers on, like "Do not touch this; it will kill you or irradiate you or whatever." Um, They'll be going on later on once I've given the entire ship a, a covering of, of satin varnish or something. Let's go back a bit, Gav. 
there's our radar set up I have knocked these off again note to self other people have said it but I thought because I've got obviously PTSD and all this stuff um, I, I, I struggle if I don't I struggle with instructions at the best of times but if I don't stick to them I'm going to be even worse state so I I followed what they're roughly saying but I, I definitely will put all this type of arrays because I'll be built on the whole I mean I've got the USS Lexington to do but I'll be on the whole building uh, modern ships with a few World War Two ships as well um, but obviously these have got the majority of the different arrays on and I've been knocking these off all over the shops while they're all bent out of place and, and everything my gluing let's get back in a bit closer my super glue is all over the shop it's, it's, it's a shame really because it, it mars everything these were taken off uh, they're like the little elements uh, they'll be different uh, there's got a ton of ton of wires are going to be coming off these at some stage I'll be using probably easy line uh, here's some more that I believe these are satellite uh, um, you know they connect up to satellites and these have got the they still retain their fiberglass uh, domes on them I don't know what the big black bucket is no it is not a crow's nest because it would be massively overscale if it was uh, I, I don't know what function that does to be honest with you um, and that's all black up the back there. We're not going to really uh, see it this time, I don't think, because nothing's stuck down. When everything's stuck down, I'll do a big 360 on the ship. Uh, I just wanted to do a catch up, really, where I was. Uh, let's get along a bit. We've got our 30 millimeter uh, crew served uh, cannon. There's two, one on either side. They've now made these automatic uh, to be fired by the fire control party, weapons party, whatever that is. But I still think they can still fire them uh, manually as well. But they've now put marklet man pad missiles. So normally they'd be sh shoulder launched, but they've realised, belatedly, in my opinion, that you could put them on on this, and it's given them an extra extra f bite, if that makes sense. Uh, because it can tackle swarm boats and, and again other flying incoming missiles or incoming aircraft whatever uh, these two squares will have big uh, antenna coming off them eventually uh, like tuning units on a Land Rover uh, we've got our Coronet Crown because these are Duke class so I've said to you guys before although this, this is called HMS Kent I'm never understood why the Navy doesn't call it HMS Duke of Kent because these are the Duke class they're named after Dukes they're not named after the county of Kent so this is HMS Kent uh, there'll also be a red horse on here because the county emblem of, of Kent is a horse uh, but the different one like the Duke of Montrose Duke of Monmouth the only one as I've said to you guys before is the Iron Duke and that's named after the Duke of Wellington uh, but it's a traditional it was his nickname and it was a traditional name in carried by ships in the Royal Navy uh, the Iron Duke was the flagship of Admiral Jellicoe at uh, Jutland so she's called Iron Duke rather than you know the Duke of Monmouth Duke of Montrose that type of stuff Duke of Westminster uh, this here is the boarding gangway ladder uh, I'm not, again I'm, I'm I'm a soldier not a or ex soldier not a not a Matlow but uh, I believe that's the boarding gangway uh, and they wrap it up it's broken through I'm gonna have to repaint this but I wrapped it up with kitchen foil because uh, it's normally wrapped up the guns are to be honest with you and the, and the boats normally obviously sheathed in tarps and that obviously they leave it out uh, for for you know interest purposes uh, and I did think about wrapping the guns up and I thought well again interest purposes that would be a bit foolish really so uh, yeah that'll have a, the crown the coronet as it's called it'll have a a, a transfer on no a decal there we go a decal a nice bright decal uh, so that'll jazz up that bit. Uh, these these little black squares I've painted black. They're actually covered in vents. So a lot of these little squares are vents all over, and some of them I've put another piece of plastic card stuck it on. I've tried to pretend there's a health and safety stickers on there. They're all over the sh shop. Uh, I didn't have any, so I tried to just do a blob of paint. I don't really think that works, but again, it is what it is. Uh, rigid inflatable you can have two versions of the crane I had to look at Kent in her if you, you can go by the gun if the gun's got the rounded turret 
is it Mark 8? No, it's the Mark 8 gun, isn't it? But whatever the turret is, um, you can sometimes place the ship in its time period. So this is in her earlier fit. Uh, but I'd seen her with this crane, this like Davit crane going over the top rather than more of a traditional one, which they also supply you with. So I put that on. Uh, and there's a bit of photo etching in the, in the boat itself. And the colour again of the boat, I just saw one that looked around, around looked the part, but still didn't look exactly what I was. All the pictures weren't exactly of this rib. And I just had to go in the end with what I, th I thought looked right. So that's that. Sorry, that's my phone as always. Can we move her up a bit, Gab? Would that help? It might do. Right, you can see all our problems here with the filler, and that's the that's a, I'm not going to turn the ship round, uh, but there's a the filler here, which I'm only just in the process of doing. Uh, I've gone along that one already. Now this is stuck down, obviously, in field. All this other superstructure will be taken off in a bit. Um, I still got to do a bit more down here and a bit more filling there. I don't, as I said, that's the only thing I can think of because the fit hasn't been bad at all. To be to be fair, the trumpeter. So I think I've stuffed up putting this inner panels inside this, and and um, it's just thrown everything off. Oh well, uh, I'm just hoping it disguises it enough when I paint it grey and put the bit of blue, turquoisey blue that I've put on for the foot uh, for the decking. I will uh, then have to put a load of railings around this anyway, so I'm hoping maybe the railings will deflect from that a bit. Uh, as you can see on the end here, we've got our Lynx helicopter. It's called a Wildcat now. I've put a couple of uh, torpedoes either side of her. Uh, the back I still haven't put. You can't see it. I can't really turn it around. I haven't got the space. But I've got a couple of PE bits which are primed and ready to paint. Uh, just th They're just like... Um, netting to stop the crew falling out the back but that's where the sonar array is towed out of uh, things like that I don't I believe this maybe whether it's a paint store a battery store maybe in a, a petrol type diesel type store and they've got lots of like little round circle vents and all they've given you is a box so I put a piece of styrene stretch sprue at the bottom put these little circles out uh, to make us and I've left a couple free which I've got to put a black dot on yet um, but yeah, all of the all of the arrays, as I call them, because I don't know really what else to call them. I should do because I've got I haven't got a book on the twenty three, but I have got other books, and I should be able should write it down. And I will do when I've when I've completed this um, as a com project. I'm going to give you a quick, complete, boring rundown of uh, not to me though, on on the twenty three, and um, I'll point out lots of little things on there because I'm just interested in the subject. Uh, now that's about it so so yeah what's got to go on Gav uh, we've got to put those support stanchions on all the way around we've got to obviously stick well we've got to stick the <laughs> stick that down we've got to get this paint in this filler uh, we've got to stick the rest of the superstructures all the way from the gun we've got to put the deck uh, the anchor chain on uh, the links is only in grey paint and has to have a load of detailing done to it um, couple more life rafts uh, belts even I should say the little orange ones they've got to be added on in a couple of places I've noticed on ships that they've not shown on the instructions so I want to add them on little bits of color again so uh, yeah all, all these areas will be will be uh, um, filled up with with uh, you know safety barriers but railings whatever so all along here and obviously on the deck and stuff all that will have railings on and then we come to the really tricky point and get more blobs of glue everywhere and we're going to have to start doing the easy line stretching all our cables all over the shop um, and uh, what else um, oh yeah <laughs> the little thing of I'm putting it on a small C base it won't be one of these big picture frame ones I just don't have the space it will literally be a couple of inches either side but just to say she's in the water and I will be buying some type of crew figures even if they're World War II ones um, and I shall stick some crew figures over around it as well and I shall probably it's my first one I'm not overly happy with it as I, I never am but I might get a uh, one of them plastic boxes because she's covered in dust otherwise so uh, yeah there we go that is can we get back any farther? 
that's my HMS Kent so far. Uh, some of this uh, blue will be toned down with some oils and that's the other thing I'd do. There's going to be weathering oils all over it. Not Obviously these don't get... They get quite rusty on the... Especially if they, I don't know if it's just they don't get enough time in port anymore or what. They seem to rust. You know, the, the Navy probably 20 years ago, I don't know if they'd have had them as rusty as they do now, but uh, a lot of our ships look blooming rusty. Um, they don't seem to get... Whether it's health and safety, nobody's allowed to go over the side anymore. I've got no idea, but uh, there seems to be a lot of rust on them. Uh, but... There'll be some weathering to the to obviously to the main hull. There's not a load to do. I just want to put some oil washes to make things stand out very slight without making it too too obvious in your face. Uh, as I say, I want to do the life raft containers. They've got little ribs around them, and I want to just highlight those. You know, just just making it that bit more. Uh, the rib itself that needs just a bit more highlight on the on the top uh, of the rubber the inflatable bit. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's 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 now once you start putting the superstructure on, even if it's only just sat on it, it's starting to look the part now. I've got to do all the Sea Wolf launchers and the Sea Cat stroke Sea Scepter missile launchers. They just need all weathering. Uh, the gun, as it's done now, has fallen forward again. Looks like it's going to blow a hole in the front of the front of the bow. Uh, that'll need to be seated properly. But really enjoyable. I said to Mamara. Uh, Rob over at uh, Rims Models. Uh, go check out Rims Models. Uh, an extremely accomplished uh, one in thirty-five scale armor builder. Mostly interior kits, if you're interested. Uh, I just he said, you know, one day he might do a ship, and I said, well, they're, they're almost like interior kits, but on the outside, if that makes sense. So uh, I don't know. I think sometimes you just got to have an interest in them as well. I, I've got a genuine interest in in ships. I always have done, and. Um, you know, I just find them really interesting, uh, and I've just always, I suppose I've developed it. I, I went on, as I, I said to you guys before, I went on HMS Monmouth, uh, which is one of the sister ships of Kent, unfortunately, no longer. I don't know if she's actually been, we sold some to the Chilean Navy, and I don't know if she's now a Chilean warship, or if she went for razor blades, I'm not sure, so scrapped in other words. Uh, I'm not sure, but she's no longer on the inventory of the Royal Navy. Uh, but I did. I was on Monmouth in the Falklands. She was a guard ship, and we did an exercise with her. And I tell you what, when you see this blooming main gun uh, landing rounds like one after another on a hillside, as your, I, I, you know, she she dropped us off with her on a landing craft. She stayed out at sea, fired over this this hill range, over this inlet, to a to a hillside. I don't know. A couple of miles away from us, and it just lit up orange. It was boom, 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 boom. It's amazing, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, yeah, so this is what we've got so far. As I say, she will be in the water at some stage. That'll be a that'll be a <laughs> a learning experience, shall we say? Make and see. But we'll have some water on her. We'll have some crew on her as well. I think if she's in the water, I, I think crew live in the the subject up a bit. Uh, I might be tying. I know that sometimes when I've seen photographs of the links when they're just on the back deck, they are uh, like the rotor blades are tied down. I suppose stop them whizzing round in the as a as a ship's under headway. Right, guys, I'm waffling and it's time for me to go because the door's just starting to open. That means my pop's going to come charging back in. So thanks a lot for st stopping by and taking a look. I hope you might encourage you to do a ship because they really are a lot of fun. And even if you're only doing it like this one, you know, you pick it up, you put it down, you pick it up, you put it down, you'll get there in the end. So I hope to get another one of these out in probably another couple of weeks and we'll see how far I've got. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.